So let's see what Danny's got going on. I showed you what the potatoes were doing. Oh, yeah. What are you up to? Well, I got to start up potting. Uh, I'm working on that. Uh, these uh, squashes, this is my okra. Look at my okra back there. That's that Star of David. Oh, that stuff is... Kicking it. It is kicking it now. This little solar, Remington Solar Greenhouse, feels perfect for this right here. Now, I am up potting uh, some of my stuff here because I do believe that if you if you want to get it to do what it's supposed to do, you got to up pot it. Uh, you can't just leave it in these little cubicles here. And guys, that's what I love about these Hoss tool trays. I take a, just a stick, and under the bottom, there's a little hole there. You can punch that hole, and these plugs will come up out of here. And look at that. The roots grow straight down. And I take my fingers and shove them down into this cup of potting soil like that. And then I just sit these things down in it. They never know they've even been moved. I mash it down kind of firm like that. And this is uh, all there is to it right there. And then when the roots start coming out the bottom of this, I'll take these and move them uh, to the field. Okay, this is another of my above ground sweet potatoes here. If y'all have never heard of those, I'll try to be real. Look at that. All the roots go straight down in it with these Hoss tool seed and trays. We love them. We love them. And we'll go ahead and get this up potted into here. Because this will be headed to the corn field once the corn gets up. And I'll sit it back here. So what we've got going on here, let me move this back. I can get back to that in a minute. All that root system there. Uh, guys, this is our white sweet potatoes that the subscribers sent us because we lost all of ours. The people that I had actually, you know, sold sweet potatoes to, they actually returned the favor to me. And look at these things. Growed in these, uh, just a plastic container, you know. Um, I got to water them again this evening, but look at the... Oh, let's see if we can see something here. Look at the look at the root system on these things. I mean, they got roots like crazy down in there. That's what we're looking for when we pull these up to plant them. Uh, we had the severe weather come through last night. Guys, it was an electrical storm. I mean, it was lightning. It was just constant. And yesterday, I know this may sound crazy, but yesterday, these were just little bitty plants. I come out here this morning and look at this. This morning, going through that electrical storm last night through electrical culture. Y'all remember I've done a video on electrical culture and what a difference it makes in plants? The okra yesterday was about an inch tall. Today, it's almost three inches tall. The, the sweet potatoes, they probably grow four to six, probably four to six inches overnight. Even the other ones started coming up under here. Just totally amazing. Uh... These squashes here, the well, squashes above ground sweet potatoes here, they look like this yesterday. Look at them after one night of going through an electrical storm in electrical culture. And I know it's inside this little greenhouse here, but it still works. Even over here, one that's been on me, I've been wanting to do a video about these, and she said, no, 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 not yet. They were like this right here. They look like that right there. After the electrical storm last night, look at this. I told her about them, and she says, well, let me go look, and let's look and see what the video, so we can do a video, and if you come in here, she goes, oh, yeah, we're going to do a video on these. So, guys, the red ones are jumping. Uh, her green stalks, yesterday, these things were only about that tall. Now, they done added four inches or six inches up. The strawberries are doing really good back there. I mean, I'm just blown away at what a difference it makes when you have a thunderstorm. I mean, I don't like thunderstorms, but when it comes to growing stuff, they make all the difference in the world. Now, these, since we had the weather last night, we only got an inch of rain, which is nothing for us here in the south. Probably tomorrow I can hook the tractor up and I can make my rows up for my sweet potatoes, and I'll probably start planting sweet potatoes tomorrow to get some of them out of here where we can start getting some more of them growing. And guys... If you want to know about growing sweet potatoes, Ms. Wanda, just hand me these. I have the sweet potato manual that I have written. Strictly has everything to do with growing sweet potatoes. 
if you like planting English peas and you're in a part of the country where you can be planting English peas, we have wrote a manual on them and all about English peas. And we just added our carrot manual. All about growing carrots, how easy it is, the secrets that we use here at the Deep South and all that kind of stuff. And guys, they come in a three ring binder. You can actually buy your three ring binder and put this series in there. And in the future, I'll be writing more books, Lord willing. And we'll be uh, covering different subjects. And hopefully, at some point, there'll be an entire library of these books here that we've wrote from Deep South Homestead. All pictures in these books came from Deep South Homestead. We didn't go on the internet and pull some pictures off. This is actually everything that we've done. And every book you get from me will have my signature right there on the front page of it. Well, guys, one thing. We don't plant sweet potatoes in jars. We don't stick no toothpicks in them and stick them down in jars. That's just not what God intended. Now, will it work? Yeah, if you want, if you want to spend the time doing it, hey, go for it. This right here, this just come from Walmart. It's just a plain plastic tote. Filled it with pot and soil. Now, leave, be smart enough to cover your potatoes up. You know what I mean? Don't just lay them on top of the dirt or something like that. You know, they need a little dirt over them. The more dirt you have over them, the better the root system you're going to have when you plant them. So just be aware of that. Now, this is just one I had. We had rabbits here a while back, and this is what rabbit fertilizer was caught in. Uh, if you had one a little deeper, it would be a lot better because that's why we went with this black pot here. These are pretty deep in this black pot, and we take these up. We should have roots about that long on them to be able to uh, stick in the ground and to transplant. These should do just fine. These will do just fine if this is the only space you have. We just did this because we have this greenhouse here that gets really warm, and sweet potatoes have got to have warm soil to be able to work. And, guys, this is the way to go. And if you have any more questions about this, then keep following us. Uh, order the manual because it tells all about this stuff. And, guys, just follow us here on Deep South Homestead. And you will be able to find out exactly how we do it. We have a whole list of videos that we can we can put them up in a playlist here or whatever. And you'll be able to, to check them out. And if you got any questions, I think I've just about covered it in any video out there. Because we have a lot of videos about sweet potatoes. And I don't think that there's anything I haven't covered. But if they are, you can ask me. But there should be a video covering it. Thank you, guys.